All the great beings who were responsible for creation of living beings are called Prajapati in Hinduism. They are all the sons of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma is also called as Prajapati, like his sons. Though Brahma worked hard to create living entities as per the order of the Supreme Truth, the outcome was not substantial. He then, with all his severe uh, austerity penance, worship, trance, bhakti yoga, created Maharshis, who came to be known as Prajapadis. Later, he gave parts of his body to those greatly saintly persons. Karadamuni was one such son. He played an important role in creating living entities in the creation. He was celebrated as Prajapati. Tapas by Kardamuni in Sati Yoga to carry forward creation. Having ordered by his father Brahma, he took up a very serious penance to fulfill the mission. He made that penance for 10,000 years by using the transcendental power of soul. If one wants to accomplish a mammoth task, one needs the mercy of the Lord in abundance, which is available only by a very sincere austerity and dedication. The la average lifespan in Sati Yoga was one lakh years. It means Kardamuni had spent 10% of his life only in meditation. Lord Vishnu appears before Kardamuni. Having pleased by the auster severe austerity of Kardamuni, the Supreme Lord Vishnu appeared in 400 form, sitting on Garud, appeared in the sky. Kardamuni was in ecstasy with the audience of the Lord. While he was relishing the beauty of the Lord, the sweet words of the Lord penetrated deep into his heart. I know your desire of doing this severe austerity, and I arranged to fulfill the same. Swambhu Manu is sitting, who is ruling the entire earth, has a beautiful daughter, and is coming here to offer her to you in marriage. And you are aspiring for a suitable wife to increase the progeny as directed by your father. The king's daughter would prove to be your best choice. You'll get nine daughters in a womb and through rishis. They will uh, fill an entire creation with living entities. Later, I will appear in your wife's womb as your dear son and teach great Sankhya philosophy. By following my order, you'll be attaining me without doubt and get glorified forever. Later, the Lord returned to his abode on his bird carrier from the flapping of wings by Garud. Root tunes of Samveda were heard by Kardamani. In fact, the Lord was so pleased with his devotion and dedication that tears of joy fell from the lotus eyed Lord and created a bond there. It became famous by the name Bindu Sarovar. Hare Krishna.